Welcome in everybody to a windy Frederick High School on a Thursday afternoon in mid-April for some high school baseball as your Frederick Warriors right now get started with first pitch against Berthoud High School and the Spartans. Folks, we are excited to bring it to you as that first one in there for a strike. Count now moves to 1-0. and 0-1, oh, oh excuse me. That one's going to be fouled off along that line. Count's going to be 0-2. Oh, I'm Jake Marsing, excited to bring it to you. Proud to sponsor this program here on the FHS Broadcast Network. We're going to carry a live, uh, not live coverage, excuse me. We are carrying this game at a later date. Unfortunately, we just we have some, some internet issues out here on the baseball fields at Frederick. So we're excited to have you join us from wherever you may be as the count remains 0-2. Count remains 0-2. Here comes this pitch. That one going to be outside for ball number one. we got a dedicated crew out here with us. First baseball game we've been able to attend so far this year. What was that? No, it is 0-2. It's 1-2 and 2 is the count right now. And that one fouled straight back. Heads up. Fouled straight back. Count remains 1-2. and 2. On the mound this afternoon to getting the start for Frederick. We've got senior Brendan Gauchauer. That one's going to be hit into fair play. We'll see if center fielder can come down with it. He can. And that'll be out number one for the Frederick Warriors. Here at the FHS Broadcast Network, we're excited to be able to bring you baseball games uh, at a later date, so essentially if you're watching this, that means you may already know the outcome of this game, but we do not. Beautiful spring day for baseball, although it will be a little bit windy today, so we will work around those parameters, and the players on the field we are will too. First pitch is going to be in there, caught right away, right to the mound, going to be two outs for Frederick here in the top of the first. Count is 0-0. Oh oh. Count is 0-0. Zero, zero. First one in there right over to first, but this is going to get into right field. This will be a base hit. Base hit for the Spartans. Number seven, Lawson Daw. Now up to hit for Bertha, number four, Evan Erickson. Heart of their rotation, they're getting a chance to play through right now. Fourth batter up, two outs, 0-0 oh, oh, the count. Checks in. First pitch high, 1-0 oh, the count. You know, this Frederick baseball team off to a, to a tough start so far this season, but they're making their way back. A 15-10 win in their last game. Coach York excited about that, excited about the progress that these varsity boys are making. Pitch going to be low there for ball number two. Two and oh the count. I need to see the screen. And three oh the count. I need to see the screen. Can you move? I know, but can you move the... No, I need to be able to see, like, the shot the camera's got. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. Rio the count right now. This hit back going a little bit lengthy here for Evan Erickson. Pitch on the way. Runner will go. That one going to be fouled off to the right. Runner will move back. We will continue. This hit bat now on its fifth pitch. Long at bats could wind up being the story of this game today. We will see what kind of impact the wind has 
on these pitchers' ability to maintain control. Berth had comes into this ball game five and five on the year so far, off to a pretty even start. Frederick trying to gather up some momentum. This one's going to be low catcher, and that's going to take a bad hop there for second. And runner will go ahead and advance. Runner will advance on the swing. The count is three and one. Another pitch here, a long AB for Evan Erickson. Pitch in, makes contact, but fouls it off again to the right. We're now on like pitch seven or eight of this at bat. A long AB thus far, we're making our way there. Gonna go ahead and make a switch on the ball. Erickson's looking for the eighth pitch of the at-bat. That's going to be in there. Strike number three. One hit allowed in the inning, but Frederick able to get out of the top of the first with a clean, clean go of it here to get this ball game started. We will head to the bottom of the second inning. Excuse me, bottom of the first inning. Our score remains 0-0. Got a dedicated crew out here on a windy day on the FHS Broadcast Network. Isaiah Klutchkowski running the camera. Casey Pritchard here. Hayden DeLear running your stream. Chloe Gould, your director. Raya Larson, our spotter, running around, helping us out this afternoon. Taking the mound today for Berthoud. Catching for birth that, excuse me, going to be Landon Kuntz for the birth at Spartans. Lots of opportunities here to get warm, see how weather impacts this game. It's a chilly one out there. There's no doubt about that. It is It is not a warm day today in Frederick. Uh, supposed to be warm this weekend though, so we'll see. On deck right now for the Frederick Warriors. Making his way is gonna be number five, the pitcher, senior, Brendan Gauchenauer. And he will take his first cracks. First batter up in this one for Frederick. First pitch. Gonna be in there, umpire says. Looked low to me, but in there. Looks like it had a little bit of late movement on it. Strike number one. Second one way inside. That'll be ball one. <laughs> that one's going to make contact. Chipper, we'll see if he can get there. Hard play at second. He does get there. That'll be out number one. Out number one for Frederick, up to the plate now. Number 24, the senior for the Frederick Warriors, A.J. Lyman. These seniors have a lot of pride, you know. was talking with uh, a lot of players on this team, including senior Zach Wartner, part of our Frederick High Broadcast Network. You won't see him involved in baseball because he is uh, he's participating in these games. We'll see if he gets a crack at it today. There's a lot of pride in these seniors as they try and work their way through a tough start to the season make their way back to even. First pitch is gonna be swung on and miss, strike number one. Kind of low pitch with some breaking action. Looked almost like a curve ball in there. Mm -hmm. 
Pitcher looks in to take the sign. Going to set up low and outside. That pitch a little bit too outside. Ball number one. Got to have patience here in moments like this. That one takes a bad hop. That'll be ball number two. Two and one the count. Two and one the count on Lyman. That one outside, three and one. Having some control issues outside right now. Let's see if he can't calm down, settle himself in a little bit. Student athletes working at a high level right now. Three, one pitch, made contact. That's gonna be a base hit right through the gap. Nice contact made, base hit on the board for AJ Lyman. Nice, nice, nice contact made. Saw that one all the way in, took a nice easy swing, popped it right through the gap between second and short, made his way over to first base nice and easy. Up now at the plate for your Warriors, senior Braden Johnson. Checks the runner first over at first. Johnson batting right-handed. Love the call of the heads out. Yeah, we got to keep ourselves aware out here too. We're right in the we're right in the sweet spot back here. Got a lot of expensive equipment. If that camera gets uh, if the ball comes for that camera, we'll we'll, uh, we'll figure out what we're doing. Here. Oh, that one takes a bad hop at third. Third baseman for the berth at Spartans. Looks like he got dinged there. They're going to go ahead and call a stop to the action. That one got him right on the glove hand, it looked like. Was it the inside hand or the glove hand? Looks like he got him right on the hand. But they're looking at the leg. It looks like it took a bad spot, nicked him in the leg. He'll get up, see if he can't walk it off. That is the third baseman for the Spartans. Number eight, Grady Shell. Grady's going to get up, be checked on by his teammates. Number eight, Grady Shell. Uh, get up, walk by his teammates. It looks like he'll be okay, though. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry about that, folks. My apologies. I'm, we're working the kinks out here as we broadcast baseball for the first time on the FHS Broadcast Network. So you got a runner on second now for Frederick. Runners on first and second. You got one out. First pitch. Looked like it was outside. One and zero. Oh. Second pitch of this at back comes inside. Runners are going to go ahead and move up a base. So now Frederick really threatening. Two runners in scoring position here in the first inning. Let's see if Bryce Conover, the star athlete here at Frederick, the guy who, three sport athlete, been a contributor for football, for basketball, and now for baseball in a big spot here. See if he can't drive in a couple of runs. Pitch on the way, gonna be inside, just caught the corner for the strike. Two and one the count for Conover. Hitters count, let's see what happens here. Conover just been so impressive to watch all year, all different sports he's been involved in. Two one pitch on the way, made contact, we're gonna take a chopper, let's see if he can handle the bounce. He can, but that will go ahead and score a Frederick run. So Frederick will jump out to the lead. One-nothing your score. 
as Bryce Conover does his job, takes a chopper over towards first base. Heads up! Sorry, I took a got excited there. That, that that one fouled straight back there. At the plate now for your Frederick Warriors. The man who fouled that one back is Tanner Rosati. Tanner going to take another chopper. This one straight over to third. Throw across the diamond. We'll get him and that will be a routine out. So they don't cash in on everybody but Frederick on the board first. One nothing the score after the Conover RBI. We will go ahead and bring you the footage of the intermission, but we will take a quick break here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Welcome back in, everybody. You saw the intermission there. We just had a little conversation, checking some things out here. We got coverage of the FHS uh, Warriors up against the Berthoud Spartans here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Jake Marsing, proud to sponsor, lead this program. Call the action today alongside a great student-led crew. We normally have students on the microphone. Baseball's a little tricky, though. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get a ton of volunteers this afternoon to try and get on the microphone. We'll see if we can make that happen over uh, the course of the rest of the season. We're going to carry a, a few more baseball games for you, some girls' soccer games as well. 1-0 the count as we get started here. That one fouled off down the third base line, 1-1. One one. At the plate for the Spartans is number 19, Jack McCray. Right-handed hitter. Catcher sets up low and outside. Pitch. Doesn't able to make that turn. Great play potentially at third, but it will sneak through. So that will be a base hit. Nice job by that third baseman playing the shift to get over and, and make the stop, but not quite good enough. We do realize, folks, that we got an issue with the camera, so let's go ahead and fix this. We will be right back here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Turn off my mic. You've got to keep a better eye on that. So the Sorry about that, folks. Had a little issue with the camera. The wind is being messy with our equipment. Apologies for that. 
Next time, if that happens again, I will go ahead and call the action and we'll just check our cables and cords. Student-led crew here at the FHS Broadcast Network. Appreciate your patience. New hitter up to the plate for Frederick, so the count looks like it should be evening out. Or, excuse me, for Bertha. Up to the plate now for the Spartans. Number nine, Easton Crompton. Another right-handed hitter for these Spartans. Pitch on the way, going to be... A high, lofty one out towards second base. Brought in and caught for out number two. Spartans do have a runner, though, on second base. Coming up to hit now is Grady Shell. Guy we saw try to make a great play over, the, over at third and take a ball to the leg. That did not feel very good. Glad to see him up and hitting now for these birth at Spartans. Pitch on the way. Outside. Oh, no, they're going to say that is in the zone for strike number one. So 0-1 oh, the count here at the top of the second inning. I'm not sure if we have one out or two outs on the board. Just one. Just one, okay. That one, a great hit. Let's see if this can get... And that is going to be up against the fence. This is going to score runners for Berthet. One run comes in, two runs come in. Third runner, that is gonna be a triple. Beautiful swing and a triple on the board for the Berthoud Spartans. Grady Shell, holy mackerel. Drives one right out into left field off a bit of a hanger, floats it out there and that is gonna be a triple for Grady Shell that'll score two runs for the Berthoud High School Spartans. You know, just the anticipation, waited for his pitch, found the moment, easy, easy swing. Didn't try and get too much of it. Made great contact, drove it out there, two RBIs in, and Brady now on third. That one's gonna get clobbered as well, but that will be sent right to the center field. A runner will tag, we'll see if he'll make it in. He does. So that'll be a third run on the board for Berthoud. Big inning here. Grady Shell just coming through for the Berthoud Spartans on that one. A couple of tough pitches there for Brendan. We'll see if he can't settle in a little bit. Two outs on the board now. Oh, oh, the count. Left-handed hitter up to the plate. That one going to be a chopper in the hole. And that'll be another base hit. Hitter, by the way, was Landon Kuntz. Was trying to figure that out. Trying to get jersey numbers figured out. So Frederick here having a little bit of trouble. Brendan trying to settle in, giving up a number of hits in this inning. Runner on first base. Two outs. See if he can't settle down. Catcher's going to set up low and outside. That one's going to be high. Ball one. Some control issues already here in the second inning. That a chopper over to third base. Can't make the play. Can't make the play. So the runners will be on first and second. Two outs. Let's see if... See if Frederick can't shut this little rally we've got going down. Going to be tricky though. Lawson Daw up to the plate now. Right handed hitter. Brandon checks the runner, looks in, throw on the way. That is going to be outside, ball one. 
Nice late movement on that, though. See if you can't draw him outside, bring him back inside, try and gain control of that eye level. That one outside as well. Trying to paint that outside corner here. See if he can't... See if he can't throw it in the zone. 2-0 for Brendan. Two outs. See if they can't shut down this rally. That one going to be swung on. Hit. And the play will get made at first base. Frederick able to stop a three-run rally before there's any more bleeding. But that was enough damage for any Frederick faithful out there in our audience. Two, excuse me, three-nothing the score right now as we will head to the bottom of the second inning here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Welcome back in, everybody. Took a little break for myself. Calling the action here. Jake Marsing alongside a talented student-led crew here on the FHS Broadcast Network. We're excited. We got big plans for next school year, getting ready to roll out a full-fledged broadcast network. We're going to be producing news updates, bringing you football games, all sorts of great stuff going on here at Frederick High School, and we will bring it all to you on this YouTube channel, on the network, across all of the resources that FHS has to offer. Right now, though, your Warriors, they trail 3-1 to one against these birthed Spartans. Looking to do something about that is the senior Joseph Milani. We will see if he can get things moving. Villani, right-handed hitter, looks in. Pitch is going to be in there on that inside corner, strike number one. Moving quickly here, but is that necessarily the best thing? Is that one outside for ball one? So one and one is your count. Low, 2-1. Pretty quick pace right now that we're moving with in terms of pitches being delivered. That one outside, 3-1. Landon Kuntz, the catcher, having to do a little bit of stretching right now. Wind starting to die down, and as soon as I say that right on cue, the wind picks up. That one, a chopper over to third base, cannot make the play. It'll be a base hit on the board for your Frederick Warriors. Runner will get on first base. So Frederick will have a runner here to start. No outs on the board. Let's see if they can't make a little bit of a rally of their own here in the second inning after dealing with a similar situation on the uh, Berthet side last time around. Hitting now for your Frederick Warriors, right-handed hitter. Number 33, that is Eli Josh, the senior. A lot of veteran players. This is a veteran baseball team for Frederick. Looking to try and come up with a, a really good opportunity here 
to get two wins in a row, settle in a little bit, get closer to even. Tough start to the season. Let's see if they can't rally just a little bit as that first pitch going to be outside. Ball number one. You know, these senior baseball players have had a couple of days off as they'll check the runner. Uh, SAT, PSAT testing, been ongoing here at FHS. Want to give a, a big shout out to Dr. That's right, Dr. Jennifer Santos, organizing, getting all that set up for testing that pitch outside. Ball three. Getting set up for testing. Juniors took the SAT on Wednesday. I got a uh, junior sitting right beside me running the stream. Hayden, how'd that go for you? Yeah. It went well. Went well, yeah, pretty smooth, right? At least in terms of testing and all that, yeah. So SAT is, is done. PSAT for our sophomores and freshmen happened today. And now for the rest of the school year, the last six weeks, we're just focused on getting all set up, done, moving through. Count is 4-0, and and that will be a walk. So, Frederick, a real opportunity here to try and drive in some runners with Sam Fisher, the junior, up to the plate. Fisher, so far this season, been a good contributor to this team for uh, a veteran team full of seniors in this lineup. Fisher's been, been solid. He's got a big opportunity here to try and drive in some runs. First pitch. He's going to try and butt runners over, it looks like. That's going to be the call. He's going to try and get a bunt down, see if we can't move some Frederick runners over, get two runners in scoring position, tie this ball game up, or get ahead. Let's see if he keeps the bunt on. He does not. He'll swing away there. And that'll be 2-0 the count or 0 and 2 the count. Excuse me. I think he took a strike on that first on that first bunt. So he's in a hole now trying to get contact made. Able to get contact and good contact at that. That is going to get right into the gap and we will score runners for Frederick. Run one about to come in. Two runs about to come in and he will hold up there at second base. For an at-bat that started out looking for a bunt, it turned into a huge opportunity for the Frederick Warriors as the junior Sam Fisher scores two runs and ties this ball game up with a beautiful shot straight away center field. Going to make a swap out of gloves. And now all of a sudden, Owen Clemenson up to the plate with a real opportunity to do some good things. See if he can't score a run, get Frederick back in the lead in this ball game. First pitch outside, ball one. Wind picking up a little bit here. It's been chilly and windy most of the day. I'm sure you can hear that. That one swung on, and that'll be an out made. But he will advance over to third, Will Fisher. So now it'll be one out, runner on third base. With A.J. Lyman up to the plate. No, excuse me, it will not be A.J. Lyman. It will be the pitcher, Brendan Gauchnauer. Gauchenauer will see what decision he tries to make. He's going to swing away. First one way low and outside, but he bit on it. Strike number one. Gauchenauer had some tough moments in this last inning. On the mound, let's see if he can't redeem himself a little bit here at the plate. Not that he needs redemption. He's been pitching pretty effectively so far through most of this game. Good location. One and one the count. He'll make contact but foul it off. One and two. One and two the count on Gatchenauer. 
Pitcher looks in, takes the sign. That one outside doesn't get him to go for it. Two and two. They've been trying to work that outside corner in this at bat for, for most of it and just have not been able to get him to bite late in the at bat like they did early on. Let's see what they set up here. They're gonna do the same, but he's gonna make contact here. And that one will break through and score a run. Nice, nice play here on a tough AB from Gauchenauer. He battled early, fell into a hole, worked his way back into it. And the next thing you know, Fisher scores. And the Frederick Warriors have retaken the lead. 4-3 is your score. They were working that same part of the plate that they'd been working through the whole last half of the at-bat. Gauchenauer just made the adjustment by that point and was able to make good contact. Up to the plate now is the senior, A.J. Lyman. That pitch outside, ball one. Trying to keep runners at bay. Frederick still has two outs to work with here, so we will see if they're able to do any more damage in this half inning. That one gonna get past the catcher. Will the throw be there? No, it will not, and he's gonna try and advance to third. And he will make it safely into third base. Safely at third was the runner after the catcher not able to handle the low pitch. Second baseman not able to handle the throw. And all of a sudden, Gauchenauer's moved from first to third. And we're in business here on the Frederick High School Broadcast Network. Lyman still has an opportunity with one out to score another run. That pitch outside. Ball three, really starting to have some control issues here on the mound for Berthet. Three-zero, the count. That one outside, gonna be. We might have had the count wrong. Yeah, we did have the count wrong. That that now it'll be three and zero. Now it'll be three and zero. We were off by a pitch. Here it comes. That one makes contact. Another base hit that'll score a run. A Frederick rally all of a sudden will make it a five to three ball game. So all of a sudden, a double, singles. Everybody's getting hits in this inning. Manager for Frederick going to come out. Let's see if they make a change here. They, they are not, it looks like, making a pitching change at this point. But we shall see. Bottom of the second inning, 5-3 to three is our score here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Now up to the plate. is number three, Braden Johnson. That one in there, strike number one.
shots right now. Sorry about the delay on that, folks. I had to step away for a brief moment. Two outs now for Frederick. Runner on third base, and they does look like we're going to go ahead and make a pitching change at this point. We'll, we'll see if they if they do. Manager out on the mound. Giving his team some encouragement, talking a little bit about strategy and what they need to do to get back on the right track here. This has been a tough inning for these Berthet boys. Meanwhile, all Bryce Conover can do is sit and wait. And now we are ready to continue the action. Count on Conover, we believe, is 1-0. Uh, Excuse me, two outs. Runner on third and second for Frederick. Conover started this rally. Let's see if he can finish it. That one in there, strike one. Wind picking up a little bit here. It's been so windy all along the front range for the last couple of weeks that it's just, it, it feels like spring, but the wind just makes it tricky. Let's see if they can make a play here. They cannot. That'll score a run. Look at that. What do you know? Frederick continues the rally. Conover, was that a chopper? Is he out or was that a base hit? I can't see from this angle. That was a base hit they're going to score it as. So Conover able to get onto first base. Six to three, our score. In the bottom of the second inning. About 37 minutes into this ball game. That one's going to be a chopper right to short. This should end the inning. Turns one and... Doesn't look like they were able to turn it there. All right. So apparently our out count was wrong too. My goodness. We gotta keep better track here, folks. So now it's it's two outs now. It'll be two outs. Because that should have been three if we were counting it correctly, but we were not. All right, up to the plate for the Warriors right now is number 19, Joseph Elani. 7-3 to three your score for Frederick. That one a high popper out to center field. Center fielder will get under it, and that will end the inning. So a massive rally. Berthet had rallied in the last inning, and Frederick needed a response, and boy, did they get one. And we now will be in a position where the Frederick High School Warriors lead this ball game 7 to 3 as we head to the top of the third inning here on the FHS Broadcast Network.
the action here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Frederick leads seven to three. Trying to either tick, tick, tick away or see if we can't find a way to get out of this one. I've bundled up here because the wind just keeps getting higher and higher. 0-1 pitch on the way. That one fouled straight back 0-2. Brandon has settled down quite a bit from those early struggles a little bit where he was having some, some control issues early on in this ball game, and he has found a real rhythm now where he has been pretty effectively able to, uh, to navigate this lineup of berthed hitters. We got a lot of very cold students here in the FHS Broadcast Network at the moment. Someday it'll be warm, that day is not today. That one swing and a miss, strike three on the breaking ball outside. Beautiful pitch from Brendan. And now Frederick gets themselves one out closer. We are in the top of the third inning. Frederick High School leads this ball game seven to three up to the plate right now. Taking that first pitch is number 19. And that is Jack McCray. Brennan's pitch in. Uh, pop straight up. Let's see if they can make a play on it. They cannot. That will fall. Base hit. Tries for second. Cannot get there. Out, Out at second base. Tried his luck and he came up short. Nice play there in the outfield for that right fielder. Able to throw that one in there. Make the play at second base. Beautiful job by this Frederick defense. Runner tried his luck, didn't quite get there. First pitch now for this hitter. In there, strike number one. Brendan has really settled into a groove here, pitching very well right at the moment. Nolan Young, the hitter for the Birth of Spartans. That one low. My hope, folks, is that you're not able to hear too much of the wind that's coming into the microphone, but my guess is that you're probably hearing quite a bit of it. So we'll make it work as best as we can. As you can see just on players' jerseys, it's windy out here right now. That one in there for a strike. One and two to count. Brendan is absolutely dealing right now. That one got him, swung on and missed. Beautiful inning of pitching there. From the senior. Just a, he, he had a couple of issues early on, but Brendan Gauchenauer just absolutely dominant in that half inning. We will head to the bottom of the third inning. Frederick leads this one seven to three. We'll see if they can't find a way to build on that lead when we come back here on the FHS Broadcast Network.
Back in, everybody, here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Jake Marsick, alongside a dedicated, talented team of student volunteers as I try and prop up a little shield for my microphone from the wind. Hitting now number 33, Eli Josh, the senior. <laughs> and he will look at a ball outside. On the mound, Bertha has had some control issues in the last couple of innings. Let's see if they can't settle in a little bit. That one in there. Strike number one, says the umpire. Looked a little low to me, but what do I know? Wind really picking up now, as you can probably hear. That one in there, strike two. One and two, the count. Loan away, ball one. They're going to try and get him to chase low. Setting up in that same spot again, low and away. Let's see if they can't come up with a different option. Oh, that one in there, though, does catch the corner. It'll be strike three. It's a nice way to rally there for those berthed pitchers. That berthed defense, that berthed pitcher, excuse me. Unfortunately, I don't have his name on my roster, so I'm not able to give you a name and give the, the kid credit. Settle it back in. Nice job there on that AB. Frederick, meanwhile, leads 7-3, to three, bottom of the third inning. Looking to continue. That one skips its way to the mound. Excuse me, to the plate. That one does the same. Breaking ball with a little bit too much break on it. Bottom just kind of dropped out of it. This one swung on and hit. Fouled back over onto the other field, way back there. Foul back onto the junior varsity field back behind us. Pitch is outside that time, ball three. Sam Fisher looks in. That one he's going to scoop up. They're going to say he fouled that one on the check swing. Fisher will go again. You know, it's been so much fun all season to be able to call these games and watch all of these different aspects of Frederick High School athletics just continue to grow. We called awesome baseball games this year. That one is going to get him, says the umpire. Fisher didn't like the call. Frankly, I don't know if I do either. That looked a little bit outside to me. But uh, he will sit down nonetheless and the Frederick Warriors will have two outs on the board. We've called so many of these great games over the course of uh, the season here for FHS and it's been you know, so much fun to be able to, to watch these players, people like Bryce Conover who we've seen in three different sports this year, just continue to grow, develop, uh, great leaders on the field and in the classroom and so many players on this Frederick team you know, really pride themselves on that that latter piece, that classroom piece. You know, juniors took the SAT yesterday, sophomores and freshmen PSAT today, and you look at a guy, he hasn't, we haven't seen him yet, but Cruz Zamudio on this roster as well as on the football roster, uh, you know, you look at his Twitter bio, he leads his Twitter bio with his GPA, which I believe is a 4.41 or something crazy like that. So these players, as dedicated to their athletics, and their academics in equal measure, and it is impressive stuff to be able to see. Meanwhile, 1-2 the count right now. Frederick trying to avoid getting sat here in this inning. Owen Clementson up at the plate at the moment. 
Let's see what this pitch is. On its way in there, going to be fouled back. Over the fence. Owen will battle on. That one, check swing, fouled back. As I was saying, it's been fun to watch so many of these athletes that you, you don't necessarily, that we have seen throughout all these different sports. But what's fun today and what's going to be fun as we continue through the baseball season are, are these baseball players, these athletes that really do focus on this sport and on honing their craft. Uh, as Owen will be struck out there, he'll sit down. No run scored in that inning, but Frederick still leads 7-3. We will head uh, to the top of the fourth inning. Frederick leading, trying to hold that lead here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Welcome back in everybody, Jake Marsink alongside our talented, dedicated student crew here on the FHS Broadcast Network, getting ready to start the top of the fourth inning. Leading off for the Berthed Spartans is gonna be Easton Crompton. He'll have an opportunity to try and rally down four runs. Seven to three is your score, top of the fourth. Brendan remains on the mound for your Frederick Warriors. Really an impressive half inning from him last time up. Let's see if he can repeat, go one, two, three here. First pitch gonna be low, ball one. It's so impressive to see just the resiliency of these student athletes and their ability to just guide their way through adversity, navigate through tough moments in games and rally in the way Brendan did in the last half inning. That one right there gonna get fouled off. One and one, even the count. And as we continue to watch these players just move their way through kind of tough conditions, they've had a number of games canceled this year through whether it be because of weather or poor field conditions here at Frederick, or that's not a slight against Frederick, it's just a reality that there were some issues with, with field drainage, but they've been able to settle into a groove, and right now we're in a spot, uh, if you're a Frederick Warrior fan, where, where maybe you got some, some optimism here, some hope in uh, the future of this program and how the rest of the season's gonna play out. And the way Brendan's pitching right now, it absolutely makes sense for it. One, two, the count. That one, strike, but Leonard's gonna have a chance. Let's see if he can make it, he will. So that, mm, did he make contact with that ball? It didn't look like he did. It looked like it was a strikeout and an E. It was a drop third, Yeah, okay. We'll see how they score that officially. But either way, runner will be on first, no outs in the, in the top of the fourth inning. 
And Grady Shell, the guy who started a little miniature rally not that long ago for the Berthoud Spartans now up to the plate, also took a hard ball to the leg earlier in this game. Impressive resilience from this young man as well. Brendan looks in on Grady. Catcher sets up. Low and outside. Pitch way outside. But nice play there. Really pretty impressive job by that catcher. Want to know the count. That one swung on foul straight back. One and one. Checks the runner over to first. Brendan looks in for the sign. Gets it set up low, but he's going to check the runner all the way over. Hold him at first. Try and potentially limit the damage here. 1-1 one, one the count. Getting a little bit gusty again out here. This one going to be swung on and hit straight back. That is going to be base hit for Grady. So another hit on the day for Grady Shell. It'll move the runner up to second. And Grady will hold there with a single. So now you're in a little bit of trouble if you're the Frederick Warriors. Toby Fraley up to the plate now. That one, big breaking ball, breaks a little bit too hard. But setting up that outside corner, see if you can't bring him outside, draw him back in. That one swung on and missed strike two. All right, Brendan ahead in the count, 0-2. Let's see if he can't get the first out in this inning with runners on first and second. Settles in. Takes the sign. That one high. Trying to adjust the eye level. Just marking that low corner. It looks like he wasn't thrilled with how that turned out, but we'll see here. See where they set up. Sets up. Center swing! And a miss. That should have been strike three by our count. Maybe we, did we miss that again? Yeah. All right, yeah, we missed that again. We're getting better, folks, don't worry. I might have said he made contact with that. That'll be three, two, full count. It is nice when the umpire puts his hands up and shows you what the count is, that's helpful. Full count 3-2, runners on first and second, nobody out in the inning. Brendan, in there for strike number three. Breaking ball, got him. It's either a break or a changeup. Nice little bit of late action, held up there just long enough. Painted the corner, got it in there for strike three. Let's see if he can't work his way fully out of this little jam here. It'd be really nice if he could. That one's going to be high and outside. Ball one. Landon Kuntz back up now. Take this AB. That one swung on, fouled straight back. Right by our camera. Isaiah, Casey, was that a fun one for you? Yeah? No? It scared one of them. It scared one of our camera operators, not the other one. All right. That one in there for strike number two. Nice pitch there. Break. A little bit of a change there.
That one's going to be swung on and hit straight back. Center fielder chasing, 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 won't get there. It's going to hit the fence. One run is likely going to come in here, probably two. Let's see where we wind up. Slides into third safely with a two RBI triple. A lot of action over at third base today. It's Landon able to make really nice contact with that ball, drive it straight back towards center, score a couple of runs. Frederick still leads seven to five, but that will cut into the deficit here. One out, seven to five the score. Runner on third base now. Meanwhile, some action on the vars on the junior varsity field back behind me, or C team field, excuse me, back behind me. Brandon looks in. Pitch on the way, swung on. That'll be a strike, but a little bit of a trouble, trouble handling it. be honest with you folks, the wind is not very funny right now. Let's see how it winds up. A little bit of a chopper over to short. Can he make the play? He does not. Did he make the play? I can't see from this angle. He did make the play. Nice job. Beautiful play made by over at short. The runner does score though, so it'll bring us within one run. Six to seven the score. Nice job over at short just to handle that hopper. Bring it in, nice throw all the way across. Get that out. We should be at two outs now, right? No? Okay. One out now, runner on first. Here comes Brennan's pitch. That one swung on, fouled straight back, 0-1. About 50 degrees, maybe, out here right now with wind chill. We're probably looking at around 42, 44 degrees, somewhere around there. It's been real crisp so far this spring. Not any real nice spring days, although the weekend looks like we're supposed to get some real nice spring days. So that'll be fun. That'll be enjoyable. Want to give a shout out to my wife, Becca, our first anniversary coming up on Saturday. Big old celebration happen. <laughs> oh and two the count. This one a chopper over to third. Try and turn two here. Where's one? And not able to turn two. Not able to turn two. It looks like runner makes it safe over to first. So it'll be two outs now. We have Evan Erickson up to the plate. Two outs now, top of the fourth. That one, chopper, straight over to short. And that is going to take care of business there for the Frederick Warriors. So Berthid cuts into that big Frederick lead, but not quite enough even this one up. Seven to six will be our score when I come back here on the FHS Broadcast Network.
We're back live. Well, not live. Live for us, not live for you. You're watching this game uh, a couple hours probably after it finished up, most likely. Frederick trying to hold on to a one run lead here in the bottom of the fourth inning. In the bottom of the fourth inning right now. 0 oh, 2 the count on this first Frederick hitter, who is the pitcher. Brennan looks in. We have not had a quick inning in this game, but that but this one sets up potentially to be the first. Three pitches, three strikes, you're out. Sit down, Brendan. Coming up now, the lefty. And that one from AJ is gonna be a chopper over to first. He will not make the play and head on back. So four pitches, two outs so far in this inning. This might be our first quick work inning that we've had. Six to seven is our score. That one swung on, looks like it's headed foul, and it is not. That's gonna be a fair ball. Runner's gonna round the corner, headed towards third. Can he make it in? He does. Triple there along the right field line. was that on third base? That meanwhile is going to be another run. So Braden Johnson, the Braden Johnson able to make a great play on the hit. And now he slides in. Another run here, 6 to 8. Add one to that Frederick lead. I think it's two and one, the count. That one outside, a little bit away, three and one. Bryce Conover looking to see if he can't make contact. He has had a, a nice day today. <sighs> nice game for Bryce. Here we go. That one gonna be low and outside and Bryce will take a base and walk on over. Tanner Rosati now up to the plate.
see what happens here. Can he make the play? He cannot. Runner will advance. Tanner Rosati, meanwhile, still looking for an opportunity to make contact here. Six to eight, our score. That one sneaks in there for strike number one. Runner on second right now. Two out, bottom of the fourth inning. That one fouled straight back. foul ball chipped it looks like off the catcher's leg and just like that Tanner will take his base and Bertha will swap out we will head to the top of the fifth. Start a whole new inning when we come back here on the FHS Broadcast Network. We come back into this broadcast, not a live broadcast. We're bringing this to you a few hours after the end of the game, or at least a little bit after the end of this game. But at the very least, you've got a chance to watch it, right? That's kind of the goal. Frederick right now leads 8-6. to six. And up to the plate. Brendan remains on the mound. Up to the plate is Jack McCray. And he's going to make contact chopper through the hole, and that will be a base hit for McCray to start out the inning. Just solid contact. Get the stick on the ball, see what happens. Nice little slapper out there along the third baseline. Not along the third baseline, really, right through the gap. Third base side. Up now, Nolan Young. Long stretch there, got it in, strike number one. That one fouled away, strike number two for Nolan. Brennan's pace picking up here just a little bit as we start to head towards the 90-minute mark in this ballgame. 
about uh, oh, an hour and 17, hour 20 at this point now. Runner on first base, nobody out. Runner will go, that one high. Runner able to get back though before uh, So Nolan now 1-2, Brendan looks in for the sign. Sets up low and away, that one outside, ball two. Two and two, high, three and two. Full count now for Nolan Young. You know, there's still opportunity here, but these big moments are important to find ways to get pitches and make plays. Nolan stretches out outside the box, and he'll reset. 3-2 pitch on the way, and runner will go. He'll check it, and runner's going to go ahead and take second wasn't able to move off the mound fast enough without balking. Now the 3-2 pitch. That one's gonna be swung on and hit way, way, way back. And that is gonna be up against the fence. This will score one run. Let's see if it scores two depending on the play. It will not, that'll be a stand up double and an RBI to make it a seven to eight ball game. Nolan Young drove that ball way out into left field. I, off the bat, wasn't sure if that was going to stay in. So 7 to 8 the score, top of the fifth inning. And we're going to have a little conversation on the mound. Let's see if we get a change here. You know, coaches say to players in moments like this. I think we all had those moments as kids where, you know, thing, things come about, making things work. Talking to all sorts of great players throughout the week, trying to make things as successful as possible. Nothing, nothing to count. First pitch on the first pitch on the way to seven. Your score. Checks the runner at second. Ball gets through, but he is on his belly and is not able to get up fast enough to try and advance. So, could have been a tough moment there, but center fielder was in the right spot. First pitch on the way, that one swung on, hit straight back, makes the play. Can he get there? He cannot. Beautiful play there by the center fielder. I think that's, is that Bryce out there in center field? Anybody know? Is that Bryce out there in center field? Bryce Conover? Yeah. All right. No? Okay, not sure. We'll get a lineup next time, we swear. So if that was Bryce, whoever's playing center field, excellent job. Can't quite see from out here. Have to get a lineup next time. First pitch of this AB in there for strike number one. First, this one contact made, driven out to right. Going to be a base hit on the board. But a good play out there in right field is going to keep the ball in the infield. And that tying run will stay off the board at least for now. But a big opportunity here for Bertha to tie this ball game up. 
late in this one, in what has been a, a tough go of it, Toby Fraley has that opportunity. First pitch of the AB, big swing and a miss. I think he was looking to tie that ball game up right then and there. Big old hack he just took on that thing. That's the kind of swing where if you ain't careful, you'll fall on your butt. Second pitch of the A.B. on the way in. Brennan checks the runner at first, looks over to third. That one in, pops straight up. Who's going to make the play? Nobody's going to make the play. That's going to score the tying run. That's going to drop right in between three different Frederick defenders to score that tying run, 8-8. Eight to eight. So a tough moment there for Frederick, who at one point led this game uh, seven to three, now finds themselves in a tie ball game late in this one. Top of the fifth inning. And that one, a straight shot over to first. Turns one, cannot come back in turn two. But is he off? He is, he got him! Runner over at third base, moved a little bit too far off the bag in his pursuit, and he was able to get tagged. So a brilliant play there to turn two. Maybe not in the way you would want to turn two, but that'll count. And it'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning. The Frederick Warriors have an opportunity now to get a run on this board and win this game, or at least take the lead in this game in the bottom of the fifth inning. Your score, eight to eight. We'll be right back. Or at least I'll be right back here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Live with this one. Eight to eight ball game right now. Joe Villani up on up at the plate. Same for, same berth at pitcher out on the mound. Second pitch of the at bat outside. Two and one the count here on Joe.
That one fouled straight back. Heading right for the crowd back there. Heading right for the bleachers out. Uh, some birthed parents. That would not have been very good. If you're a baseball parent, I assume you're you're pretty uh, you're pretty aware of this. Pretty used to ducking and diving. That one inside. That'll be a walk. All right, he's gonna go ahead and take his base. And we'll see Eli Josh now come up. First pitch on its way into Eli, low and outside ball one. Eli looking for signs, trying to see if he's going to be asked to move a runner. He's not at this point. We'll see if that changes. Another check over to first. For a windy day, I do have to say, these players don't seem uh, too cold or anything like that. Don't know if I can say the same of our FHS Broadcast Network crew or these parents. I never call that a strike, which I don't agree. I, I don't, when it's at your shins, is that a strike? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works, no. Uh, so I don't agree with that call. I'll just be honest and upfront with that, but here we are. One one pitch on its way. That one low and outside, Bolton. That one swung on, fouled back. back behind first base over on that side. You know, just a reminder that here at the FHS Broadcast Network, we've been proud to bring you Frederick High School Athletics throughout this school year. We brought you football, basketball, now baseball. Going to be able to bring you some girls soccer here at some point in the near future. Student-led program with student-led uh, broadcasts. If you're interested in potentially becoming a partner with us heading into the next season, our first season uh, under a new name that we'll, we'll uh, be announcing either early next year or late this year. Uh, and as we expand into a full-fledged broadcast network with all the bells and whistles you'd expect and online coverage and internet work and all sorts of good stuff that we'll be bringing you at Frederick High School athletics and activities. Uh, if you're interested in partnering with us, feel free to reach out to me, Marsing uh, J underscore Jacob, Marsing underscore Jacob at svvsd.org. We are a growing program, an exciting program, and happy to be able to bring you all of the awesome athletics and activities here at Frederick High School. That one is swing and a miss for Sam Fisher. Bottom of the fifth now. Can't Let's see if we can't find a way to end this tie. Just so folks are aware, we may have to make a camera battery change here momentarily. In that event, we will temporarily have to turn off the video feed, at the very least, of the action. Is that one in there for a called strike two? One and two, the count. We may have to temporarily turn off a video feed so that we can get a battery swapped out. We'll let you know if we're about to do that, and I will just call the game like a radio broadcast, which more or less is kind of what we're doing today. That one fouled down along the third, uh, first baseline. Excuse me. We are going to go ahead and make that battery change right now, folks. So 
We're going to lose the video feed here for a moment, but I will endeavor to call the action as detailed a fashion as I can. As Fisher looks in, takes the pitch, that one swung on and missed, going to be strike three, and he is frustrated with himself. We have lost the video feed, as you see. We are aware of that. We're just swapping out the battery, and there we go. We got it back down. So we got to go ahead and reset the shot if we can, please. Uh, zoom out a little bit. Sorry about this, folks. We usually do this during breaks when you can't see it. Make sure we can see first and third base, please. Thank you. That one going to be swung on. Pitcher can't make a play. They will go ahead and make the tag, though, and that will wrap up this inning. We will head into the sixth. Two more frames left to go, I believe as we will head into the bottom, excuse me, the top of the sixth inning. Tie ball game, eight to eight here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Welcome back in, everybody. Top of the sixth inning here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Jake Marsing alongside a dedicated, talented crew of students as we get ready to start. Two more frames to go. Two zero, the count here to start out this sixth inning. That one makes contact right to short. Play is going to get made. Nice, easy out. Number one for the Frederick Warriors. Pitch on the way in for this new at bat. That one gonna be low.
This one on the way, gonna be low and inside for the ball. So Lawson Daw takes his base and it'll be Evan Erickson up to the plate. Trying to make a play here for these birthed Spartans. First one in there, strike one. Pitch made contact, driven back. Gonna be a base hit. So Berthoud will have runners on first and second. Two outs at this point. Top of the sixth inning, 8-8 eight our score. Brennan has pitched a nice game so far. Really settled in pretty effectively. But this might bring home the go-ahead run. It will, just like that, a stand-up double for Berthoud. And it is a 9-8 ball game for the Frederick Warrior, excuse me, for the Berthoud Spartans, a game that Frederick led at one point by a score of seven to three. They are now losing by a score of nine to eight. And that will be it on the day for the starting Frederick pitcher, Brendan Gauchenauer. A good outing for him. He had some innings that were really impressive some moments that were just consistently so strong, but not able to get all the way to the finish line. And he will be replaced by the senior Talon Bowen. Talon Bowen will come out in relief on the mound. Get a couple of opportunities here to get a little bit warm. Talon, a little bit of a different delivery from Brendan. Stands tall on the mound, a little bit of a longer stretch, quicker pace. Let's see how quickly he can work up here. Allen just working on getting warm right now. Trying to end this top of the sixth inning, head into the bottom and then head to the seventh and see whether or not Frederick has an opportunity to win this. They'll have to stop this little rally here. They'll come back with a runner on third base. And two outs once Talon's ready to go.
All right, Talon is ready to go, and so are we. First hitter he will face is Nolan Young. Nolan has played real well today, had a couple of very nice at-bats, driven in runs, been consistently making good contact. Let's see if Talon can't find a way to get out of this inning. Makes contact over to third, checks the runner at second. Can he make the play? He does make the play and that'll end the inning. So Talon Bowen able to come in, get the play that needs to get made made. And just like that, we will head to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Frederick Warriors down a run now, nine to eight against the Berthoud Spartans here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Difficult at bat here to start here for the Frederick Warriors is a strikeout there right off the top. Frederick trying to rally here, come up with a run. That one's going to make contact down through the hole. That one fouled straight back. Right. 
chopper along the third base line throws across. And that'll end the inning. So a quick one, two, three, up, down inning for Frederick at a moment when they really did need some different things. Needed different outcomes, and that one didn't get them. And so we will head now to the seventh. Last frame of this ball game. Frederick needs to come up with, with a run. Can they buy a run? Can they sell a run? No, they don't want to sell any runs. So that's a bad idea. They want to buy a run if they can. We'll come back here on the FHS Broadcast Network. Welcome back into the FHS Broadcast Network. Talon Bowen on the mound for your Warriors, trying to get out of this inning cleanly and give his bats an opportunity to get back in the lead in this ball game with a frame to go. First one is in there, strike one. Second one, low, strike two. It'd be a, a disappointing one, to say the least, for the Warriors if they were not able to come out of this with a victory after leading seven to three. That is a swing and a miss. Strike two. That one low. Move the count now. Should be full. See what the umpire calls it. There it is. Not Talon not able to make the play, and it'll be a base hit right through that center gap. That one swung on and hit high and far. Cannot make the play, and this one might drive in another run. We will see. Runner is headed, has the stop sign at third. So will not drive in a run, but it'll be a stand-up double. Runner will stop in at third.
first pitch low and outside, trying to navigate a tough spot here. You'd have to imagine that making that hill higher to climb is not exactly what Talon is looking for in this moment over the Frederick Warriors. Nice stop there behind the plate. That one in there for strike number two. That'll score a run right there, the pass ball, and just like that, it's a two-run lead for Berthoud rather than a one-run lead. And all of a sudden, you're, you're in a tough spot. You got a two-run deficit that you're behind, no outs in the inning, a runner on third. What direction are you going to head? If you're Frederick, all that you can do is try and come up with three more outs and get your batters up. First one in there from Talon, runner will go. Stopped it at the pitcher. So runners move up. You got two runners in scoring position. Now nobody out, Landon Kuntz at the plate. See if Talon can work himself out of this jam. First one swung on and hit. That is gonna be just one. Just the one out, but that'll be helpful. Runners remain at second and third. Runners remain at second and third. No, excuse me, one out. Frederick down 10 to eight. Top of the seventh inning. Last opportunity here for this Frederick pitching staff to stop the bleeding. That one gonna be swung on and hit way back, but right into the hands of the right fielder. Big gun arm, can he get there? No. So one run will score. It'll be an eight to 11 ball game. 8 to 11 the, the score, one run left, excuse me, three runs up ahead now for Berth and one out left to go out and get. So if you're Berthoud, you're thinking, how do I get this runner in from third base? If you're Frederick, you're thinking, how the heck do I get out of this inning? 11 to 8 the score. Oh, do they call that a strike? That seemed off the plate to me, but they'll call it a strike, 0 and 1. That one swung on, fouled back, or is that in play? It's gonna be in play, so it'll end the inning. And we will head to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Frederick Warriors needing an needing four runs to win this ball game, three to tie it. We will head to the bottom of the seventh, 11 to eight your score. We'll be back here shortly on the FHS Broadcast Network.
All right, here we go. Bottom of the seventh. Bryce Conover will start us out. First pitch, low and away, ball number one. Bryce has come up big for these Frederick Warriors all season in three different sports. Let's see if he can do it here in a big spot for this baseball team. And he does, just like that. Base hit through the hole for Bryce Conover, so the Frederick Warriors will get started with just what they needed. That single, get on base, get folks moving, see if he can't start a rally. So up now will be Tanner Rosati. Tanner got a big spot, try and move Bryce over, but you gotta get four runs, not one, not two, not three. If you're gonna win this ball game in this inning. They're gonna go ahead and call him out at second. So he tries to make the steal, Bryce cannot. That'll be out number one. So all that progress that you make with having the runner on first, now you're just stuck with a one out and nobody on and four runs to try and make up this gap. That one's gonna be straight, oh! Second baseman can't handle the hop, it's gonna head deep out into the outfield and Tanner Rosati will get on base. I don't know if you score that in E or if you score that a base hit. Pitch on its way, inside, strike number one. Jovalani up there, on its way. That one, pass ball, runner will advance. So now you got a runner in scoring position. That's what they were trying to get stealing with Conover and they wind up getting it with the pass ball. Now you gotta try and come up with a slightly different option here. Ray, can you run a confirm score for me? Runner on second base, pitch on the way, swung on, hit, fouled back. That one's gonna be hit and good contact made. We'll see if they can make the play. They cannot, it'll bounce back in front and over his head. Here we go. Runners on their way in. 
They'll put up the stop sign though. Oh my goodness. I thought we, they were going to be run scored on the board on that one after I saw the ball take the hop over the center fielder's head. No such luck though. Runners will stop at third and second. Second and third, that pitch outside, ball one. The senior Eli Josh has had a nice game so far this afternoon. See if he can't come up in a big spot here. That one contact made but fouled back. That pitch high. Ball two. Oh, excuse me, ball three. Three and one the count. Hitters count here. Big spot. Pitch is high. Loaded bases. Oh boy. That's a development. Loaded bases in a big big spot for Sam Fisher and they are going to go ahead and make a swap they're going to bring in Tegan Bowen as a pinch runner over at first knowing that the winning run is at the plate with one out and bases loaded But it'll be up to Sam. That is going to be. This will be two. Here we go. One comes in. Two on the way in. And just like that, Sam Fisher comes through in a big spot. And the Warriors come. Eleven to ten, your score with one out in the bottom of the seventh. And Owen Clemenson now. Winning run is on first base. Tying run is on second. The wind has finally died down, it seems, in a big spot. Owen, contact made. This could be two. They're just going to get the one, it looks like. They are just going to get the one. And so it'll be two outs now. The winning run is on second base in scoring position. A base hit could win this game. And it will be up to the man who pitched a great game throughout, rallying, making big plays happen, and has had a good day at the plate as well. And Brendan Gauchnauer. First pitch, one run and hit! Base hit in the gap, here we go! One run scores! Two runs in! And just like that! The Frederick Warriors with the walk-off! They have it right where they wanted them! 
And just like that, the Frederick Warriors get a come from behind victory, a game that was back and forth, a game that they led at one point, seven to three. They wind up getting a walk off from Brendan Gatchenauer who pitched an excellent game today, makes the big hit at the end. An exceptional moment here for the Frederick Warriors as they will go 2-0 in their last two, build on a winning streak, beating Berthoud 12-11. We have loved bringing it to you. An awesome moment for these Frederick faithful, and we will be excited to bring you a few more games throughout the season on the FHS Broadcast Network. Hey, I want to give one last shout out to our crew. Director this afternoon, Chloe Gould, our spotter running back and forth, checking scores, making sure that we're set up properly, has been Raya Larson. Casey Pritchard and Isaiah Klitschkowski have been on camera and our stream operator running that graphic below, helping me out here, answering my questions, keeping me company, has been Hayden Delir. Hey, we are going to be back. I believe our next broadcast is actually a girls soccer broadcast, but I will have to double check our schedule. In the meantime, the Frederick Warriors get a 12 to 11 victory on the walk off. An absolutely electric moment for these Frederick faithful. We have loved bringing it to you. We will see you another time here on the FHS Broadcast Network.